Okay, everybody. Now that you've mastered operating well in the operating room, the next thing I'm going to show you, as we talked about, as I talked about previously, is how to guide and glove yourself. This is done in emergency time, like I said in GYN, if the babies are coming, nobody has time to guide and glove you, you have to do it yourself. And then there's other situations where it has to be done also. So how do we do that? The first thing we do, and we're going to just have a little bit of a re repeat, a little re reiteration, we're going to go get our gown and our gloves, because in this case, like I said, nobody's going to be able to help you. you got to do it yourself. I pick out my gown and my glove from the sea locker or wherever they Different hospitals have different things. They have closets. However you have to get that, get your gown and your glove. Remember, I'm going to take my gown. I'm going to open it. And I'm going to put it, remember, open it away from myself, never towards myself, always away and away. And I'm going to put this right on the edge. Okay? That's the most important thing you're going to do. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my gown, my gloves. Remember, like I showed you earlier, that's right next door right next to it. Remember, I'm not leaning anywhere. There'll be a spot. You'll say, somebody might say, well, where, where can I put my gun on my gloves? I mean, there's things all over the table. Look for a, just look around for a small flat spot around the edge. Don't look for the middle. It's always around. It might be right here. It just might be a different spot. You always keep it to the edge of the table. Okay? We're going to come in. Of course, as you know, I'm going to have my proper eyewear on. Remember, eyeglasses are not eyewear. I have my proper protective eyewear on. I've got my <coughs> I've uh, got to pick up my towel. I've all done. I've done my scrub. I've come in from you know backwards in, and I've come to the table. The first thing, remember, I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my own towel. How do we do that? If I'm going to show you again, all towels, these little towels, because oh, all your guys come with paper towels, has a little cuff on it. Just take that and let this just fall, okay? And shake it, not too much, because then we don't shake things in the OR. Because I'm left-handed. I'm going to do my left hand first. If you're right-handed, you'll do your right hand first. I'm going to, remember, I'm going to roll. I'm going to get all that water off. I'm going to twist, twist, twist. Then I'm going to take my dry hand. Remember, I'm going to put it on the dry side of the other side, the dry side of the uh, towel, and I'm going to repeat the process, twisting, twisting, twisting. Twist, 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 being careful not to let this touch me, okay? Then I'm going to throw it away in the correct receptacle which is usually red. Anything that has contact with bodily fluids or uh, blood, et cetera, et cetera, always goes in red. Next, I'm going to pick up my gown. I'm going to take my gown. I can't touch it, as you can see. I can take it just like so, like I'm doing. I'm going to take my first hand. You're going to see there's two spots for the arms to go in. Okay, I'm going to step away from the table, and I'm going to let the gown fall. I'm going to inch my way into this gown. Remember, now I've got my gown on. I'm touching the arms. I, and let me just tell you something. This is the hardest part for some people. They put the gown on and it ends up falling like this. If you can, try to make sure that it's up around, it's sitting on your shoulders. That's about the best you can do. How I can, now I can manipulate my arms. My fingers are inside. They cannot come past. There's two kinds of ways actually to gun and glove, but I'm not showing you the open glove because if you make a mistake, you'll have to start all over. And so I think it's just better to do the closed. This is what I'm showing you. It's called the closed glove method. So that means my hands are right here. The first thing I'm going to do with my hands inside, and let me just show you, everybody. You see you've got the white and the cuff. Use that as your kind of your, your spot that you can manipulate your fingers. It helps. I'm going to take this set of gloves, and I'm going to open this up. You see so far, I have, see with my little finger, I haven't touched anything. I'm going to open this up, and the, the most important part when opening up your gloves is making sure when you get them open all the way that it's flat. What do I mean by that? You're going to pull, take the cuffs, if you can see that, and I'm going to make sure this is flat. Because once I start this process, you don't want this to be flapping back on you, okay? So, this has to be flat. I, as I told you, I, this is the right man's world, and I learned how to gown and glove right hand, even though I'm left hand. So you, lefties, you can do it too. What I do, this is my little trick. I get my little fingers, never out, like I said, but almost to the edge of the cuff. That gives me where my thumb is right underneath the blue and my fingers in the white. It's very, it makes it much easier to manipulate putting on your gloves, okay? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my right glove, what I want you to see here, everybody, the glove has numbers on it. And there's a thumb, as you see right there. What you want to do is put the glove on your palm with the thumb 
facing you and the letters down. Everybody see that? This is wrong. This is correct. Okay? Thumb down, fingers pointing, pointing towards you. With my left hand, I'm going to take the cuff, upper cuff with my bottom hand. I'm going to take the other cuff and I'm going to start from my finger. I'm going to flip this over. Okay? And as you see that, then I'm going to take my fingers and my cuff right here and I'm going to pull forward. Okay? As you see, I've got the cuff in there, right where I want it. My fingers are right inside. Okay? Now I've gotten through with the first hand. Here we go. Number two is a lot easier. Once you get number one done, everybody, number two is a lot easier. What you do, you're going to pick this glove up again. Remembering, everybody, letters and thumb down. But I've got a gloved hand now, so this makes it a whole lot easier to put my hand underneath that cuff. I'm going to take this cuff, I'm going to flip those fingers forward, I'm going to take my hand, excuse me everybody, I'm very popular, and I'm going to pull that down. Gloves are on. That's all that you will be, that's all that you will do. From this point, somebody has to come behind you and tie you up. You're ready, you've, you've gotten and gloved yourself, you're ready to go. Okay? Um, if you want me to repeat, I'll just tell you remember, one more time. Remember the most important thing. Lettering. Face down, thumb facing towards you. Getting your fingers not up, in, getting your fingers in the cuff area without them showing through. Keeping your thumb under the blue. Makes it much easier for manipulation. I'm ready to go for some lucky person to come in uh, now. Like I said, like if they're busy, your contemporaries can tie you up in the back, remember? Then we can pull this off. Remember the long string goes with the tag, the short string goes on my left hand, and we're done. Voila.